Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and the final daily vlog before I go on holiday. Whilst this video is going live, I'm probably at the airport, but what a fantastic way to end. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm heading over to SB to quickly pick up the last final bits for the car before I head over to Essex, Dub Customs and um, Gad Tuning. But this vlog, there's not going to be much vlogging in the car because I haven't got my Montar car mount with me. So I'm going to be doing it most of the places that I'm going to be going today. So stick with it and let's have some fun. As you can see from the wall behind, I'm at SB and I just picked up my old number plate. So can't see them, they're facing the other way. Um, but I've just picked them up and I've picked up a little bit of paperwork um, that's to do with the car from the work that these guys have done. And now it's going to be a case of driving and hoping that the M25 is okay. Good news for me, it's going to be a smooth and easy journey over to Dub Customs. In the space of an, being up less than an hour, the temperature has risen about 10 degrees. It's now 22 degrees. It's getting hot and I'm starting to feel really tired. It is, um, I've got probably halfway around the M25 of what I need to do. No supercars on the road. Just a shame. It's a Friday. Where are they all? I was hoping that I could see some. We're back down at Dub Customs and they've been de-wrapping the C63 outside in baby blue. Oop. I just walked into those brake calipers. <laughs> Ow, that really hurt. Anyway, as you can see, it's not, it's, um, well, this place hasn't been cleaned. There's an R8 here that's been de-wrapped. Look how many little bits and pieces there are down there. The great thing about what I do, video editing YouTube, is that you can take your office anywhere. <laughs> There's Dub Customs. Here is my office for today. Oh, that's nice of them, putting the lights on. No idea how they've done that, but anyway. I have uh, a couple of videos to edit and I'm gonna try and get them online as well, save time, um, so that when the car is finished, I can literally drive home, drop the car off. There was a load of mu noise going on in the back. I was about to say a load of music. It's definitely not music. An E63 AMG is here at Gadshune. And whilst my car is um, over there, let me just talk to you a little bit about this car. I don't even know how much power it has stock. But anyway, on Monday, the gearbox is coming out and getting sent to America to be uprated so that it can deal with 1,400 Newton meters of torque. I think that's correct, and Gad Junior will correct me if I'm wrong. 1,400 Newton meters of torque to the rear wheels of this car. So the gearbox is going to America to get uprated and Gad Tuning are doing an insane project on this car that Anthony says with the right fuel, this car will be pushing as much brake horsepower as a Bugatti Veyron <laughs> to the rear wheels. This is gonna be a rear wheel drive, thousand brake horsepower, E63 AMG. And um, I am wanting to film this process. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to come down here a little bit more often and follow the process this has because this is a 2012 E63. It's not the latest one, um, but as you can see, you are not expecting to see a thousand brake horsepower in this car. So um, look out for this car on social media and on the Gad Tuning Limited Instagram page for updates on the E63 1000 brake horsepower project that is coming soon and is going to be utterly ridiculous. Brand new R8 badge. No, it's more like a metallic one. Audi to go on next. So I'm leaving. I'm leaving Essex and heading back to SB Race Engineering. And I, well, before I was filming this, I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to tease the viewers and not show the exterior of the car with the badges and everything like that. I'm going to take it back to SB, clean it and then take some pictures and put it on Instagram and dedicate it today to um, this car as this is the last day that I'm going to spend with it. And I thought, it's so easy for you to just skip a couple of minutes in a daily vlog 
to see the outside of the car. So uh, yeah, if you feel like skipping and having a look at what it looks like on the outside, feel free to do so. I'm not gonna vlog on the way home, I'm just gonna head to SB straight away clean and then get some pictures up onto Instagram and then I'm heading home and then editing for the rest of the day. 24 degrees outside, 24 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not able to get out in the sun, which isn't a bad thing because I know that for the next week or so on holiday I'm going to be able to chill out. Oh, and I cannot wait. I just cannot wait. But it's time to head home now, so I'll catch up at SB. For SB. Here's the badges. Chrome badge on the front. And then around the back. I'm so tired, guys. So tired. The R and the A. I've got about 10 minutes into editing and I'm too hungry. I can't think of anything other but food and the only quick option I have is a McDonald's. So frustrating I don't have my Montal car mount to put up there and I can just order and vlog that which is, yeah, it's just annoying really. So I'm going to head to McDonald's, I'm going to grab some food, some really quick and easy food and then head straight back to SB and continue editing a video which is called Facing My Fears, driving a convertible for the first time. Currently just waiting for my sandwich to get done. Ordered a McFlurry as well, but I'm not sure how long that will stay an ice cream. However, yeah, last ever McDonald's in this car. There's a last for a lot of things, last of a few. I don't know, it's crazy, crazy to think. So I've changed office and now I'm having lunch. Not ideal having a McDonald's the day before I go on holiday, but it's probably too late now and the aircon's on. The aircon just has turned on, so it means that I'm going to be filled up, my belly's going to be full, and I'm also going to be at a relative temperature as well, so I can get cracking on this video. And uh, then probably head home, get packing for tomorrow, which right now, as you're watching this, I'm probably either at the airport or on a plane, so... Yeah, I'm packing late, last minute packing. Let me know whether you last minute pack as well, whether you wait to right to the last minute, like 10 minutes before you have to leave, and then pack. Or do you, uh, or are you planned, are you making sure that you're all organised before so that you don't forget anything? Let me know how you pack for your holidays. Or let me know whether you're going on holiday and where you're going as well. Leave a comment in the comment box below as well and I'll be able to check that out whilst I'm in Portugal. This could be the last time my car is at SB Race Engineering. And it's telling me that I, it is 26.5 degrees outside. Very warm. Black leather doesn't usually help. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my final ever journey. Well, I don't know whether ever, but final journey in my Audi R8. I am driving up to drop the car off so that my friend can sell it on my behalf. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is it the end of the first stage of my daily vlogs, as I'm going on holiday tomorrow, or right now as you're watching this, it is also the end of an era with the Audi R8 V8. And I'm having a race, I'm having a race. I won. The amount of journeys this car has been on, how fantastic it has been to me, and what an utterly brilliant car. The Audi R8 V8 manual. So many memories, I'm not gonna get emotional. So many memories, um, so many awesome videos. And this has played a huge part in the growth of supercars of London. But bring on the car number two as and when it arrives. Who knows? Let's hope that this car has a quick sale so that we can have a smooth transition into vehicle number two. My second supercar, or as some people that argue this isn't a supercar, my first supercar's coming. <laughs> this is a bit of an end of an era. The car's going, and for a week so are the daily vlogs. Guys and girls, thank you so much for all of the support on the Supercars London YouTube channel so far. My stats are the best they have ever been. My views, how many minutes I've watched, oh, it's unbelievable. So guys, I can't thank you enough and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for all of the videos. But I enjoy, well, I can't wait to see you guys when I'm back from holiday. So thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. This is the last video with the Audi R8 V8 in it that's filmed right now. I don't know whether it's gonna be the last video. I might do a tribute. Let me know whether you wanna see a tribute. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, sport mode is on.